What's up, Wayne Barron here with Dark Effects Studio, and we are inside of IIS, that's Internet Information Services for Windows. And what we're going to do is that we're going to create a backup. Now, IIS Manager itself does not have any way to create a backup, so you cannot do it. Uh, so what we're going to do is that we're going to do this with a DOS prompt. Let's go ahead and minimize this window. We're going to right-click on our Start menu, come up to Command Prompt with Admin. This is under Windows 10. You can also do this in the new Windows 2016 server as well. Let's go ahead and minimize this window. We're going to come over here with a notepad and we're going to type in the following information. Uh, percent win directory percent and then backslash system32 backslash and then we're going to do inet srv and then app command dot exe then we're going to do add backup then we're going to do 12 5 2016 our command for copying so we're going to do an x copy this is our location where it is going to be at and this is our destination we want to put it at and then we're going to do an i an s and a y this is going to check the location and then it is going to send it there without prompting so the first thing we want to do is copy this out so this is our location where it's going to be stored and then add in an asterisk and then let's come over here to this location and then we're going to paste that in right there let's go ahead and tab down twice then you simply just type in info right there and then copy this right here the info is not really going to do anything but that will give you something to grab a hold of just in case you are concerned that that's not going to work so if you start right here then you can or copy both of them and what that will do is that that will actually tab from this one and tab from that one so you do not have to enter it now we're going to come right here you will notice that it will create the backup here and then it's going to copy it here so let's go ahead and there it goes and as you can see it created it here then it also created the file there so now it's sitting at both locations this right here will make it so that whenever you work with IIS and then you want to uh, continue to create backups without actually going to this location right here every single time to copy it over. I am Wayne Barron with Dark Effects Studios. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.